So good day and welcome. Today we're going to be dealing with Beche 2019 Agri Science Pass Question Question 1. The science of nourishing the body of the animal is called DASH. A. Animal Nutrition B. Animal Science C. Animal Production and D. Animal Management So we are asked that the science of nourishing the body of animals is called DASH. Now let's pick each of these options and analyze them. A says Animal Nutrition. Like we know Nutrition simply means what? Nutrition simply means providing for the animal, providing the basic food required for the what? For the maximum growth and production of animals. That is, providing them with what? Their basic feeds. They are basic food that will help or nourish their body to keep them healthy. That's what animal nutrition simply means. Providing them with all classes of food that they require for survival. Now, animal science, on the other hand here, animal science is the aspect of science. Aspect of science that deals with... It deals with what? It deals with the production. It deals with production and the management of farm animals not only farm animals actually animals in general that's what animal science be it farm animals or wild animals so animal science is the aspect of science that deals with what that deals with the production and management of farm animals and wild animals like we know farm animals are the cattle, the sheep, the wild animals like lions. So that's animal science. Now, animal production here. Like I said, I say animal science deals with what? The production and management of animals. Now, animal production here simply means what? It's just other, in other words, we call it livestock rearing. Livestock rearing, that's animal production. Livestock rearing, that's where what? Where a farmer goes into the production of animals. You rear animals for what? Basically for, for reproduction. That's animal production. And animal management here just simply means what? The practice is the practice of caring and ensuring practice of caring and ensuring good health of animals beast farm animals or food or wild animals but now the question says the science of nourishing the body nourishing the body of the animals and remember i told you that animal nutrition deals with what providing the basic food required for maximum growth of animals maximum production requires what requires for maintaining the health status of the animals that's animal nutrition providing them with what the basic nutrients that nourish their body so therefore the answer to this question is option a animal nutrition it is the science of nourishing the body of the animal by providing them with their basic food basic nutrients so the final answer to this question is option a animal nutrition thank you very much and god bless you please ensure subscribe to the channel for more videos Good day and welcome. Today we're going to be dealing with Beche 2019 Agri Science Pass Question Question 2. The tool or implement driven by some form of mechanical force to achieve some operation on the farm is called dash. A. Machine B. Bicycle C. Sprayer and D. Wheelbarrow Now, we are asked for the tool or implement driven by some form of mechanical force. Tool or implement driven by some form of mechanical force to achieve operations on the farm we say it is called dash now we are giving these options now let's analyze this option Wait. number a a here we have machine now farm machines are simple words just tools farm machines are tools or implements these are tools or implements that are driven by mechanical force when we say mechanical force that is force of motion in order to achieve what basic operation in order to achieve basic operation in the farm 
now this option uh, this operation includes your harvesting include harvesting we have planting so all these machines that are doing that are driven by mechanical force all these tools and implements driven by mechanical force to achieve this basic operation in the farm is what refers to as what farm machine now b here says bicycle like we know bicycle is also a an implement or it's also a machine that is used for what for movement is used for transportation for transportation that is to move from one place to another that's bicycle then C here is sprayer. Sprayer is also a farm tool. Sprayer is a farm tool or implement or implement that is used to do what? That is used to spread or distribute chemicals on the farm. It is used to distribute chemicals on the farm. Then D S S we barrow. Now we barrow is also a farm tool that is used for what for carrying farm produce for carrying farm produce we barrow is used for carrying farm produce or anything on the farm now the question says the tool or implement driven by some mechanical force and like i told you i said farm machines are tools or implement driven by mechanical force that is force of motion for us to achieve what certain basic operations in the farmland and these machines include tractors they include tractors even the sprayer is a farm machine is a is a tool and implement a farm machine so the tractors the combined harvesters all these are what they are machines which are driven by a mechanical force to achieve basic operation like planting your harvesting even weeding in the farm so therefore the correct answer to this question is option a machine thank you very much and god bless you please ensure to subscribe to our channel for more videos Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be dealing with BC 2019 Agri Science Pass Question Question Three. Animals which are fed mainly on grasses and legumes are called dash. A. Monogastric animals. B. Ruminant animals. C. Mammals and D. Omnivores. Now we are asked for the name given to animals which are fed mainly on grasses and legumes. And like we know, grasses and legumes are type of plants. They are type of plants which are used to feed what a particular type of farm animals. Now A here says monogastric animals. Monogastric animals are animals with just one stomach compartment. That is, they have one stomach compartment. And these animals mostly are not fed with what with grasses and legumes. These um, monogastric animals include animals like dog cats and these animals are not fed with what with legumes or grasses they are fed with flesh then b here we have ruminant animals now ruminant animals are animals with these are animals with more than one more than one stomach compartment more than one stomach what compartment that is they have like four stomach compartments some three stomach compartments now these ruminant animals have the ability to chew their cord and like you know these grasses and legumes are plants and so these animals are usually fed with what with grasses and legumes because of these four compartments that they have this stomach compartment that they have they are fed with grasses and legumes it gives them the ability to be able to what to bring back the food after it has been what swallowed so that they can what regurgitate it and chew it again what you call chewing the cord so these are ruminant animals then mama will say on the other hand these are animals that give birth to their young ones alive animals that give birth to young ones alive so we refer to them as mammals then omnivores here are animals omnivores are animals that can feed on both plants and animals that is they can feed on both plants and animal material on both plants and animal 
material that means they can eat products of plants and products of animals like milk from animals and then products of plants so those are omnivores example of omnivores are the humans now the question says animals which are fed mainly on grasses and legumes are called dash and like we know i said ruminants animals are animals with more than one compartment like four compartment stomach example is the goats and the cattle and these animals are mainly fed with grasses and legumes because they have the ability to what, to regurgitate the food and chew it again chew the cord so the answer to this question is b ruminant animals thank you very much and god bless you please ensure to subscribe to our channel for more videos Hello, good day, and welcome. Today, we're going to be dealing with page 2019 Agri Science Pass question, question 4. All are stomach compartments of ruminants except dash A. Rumen, B. Reticulum, C. Radical, and D. Omasum. We are asked to pick out of this option the one that is not the stomach, one of the stomach compartments of the ruminant animal. Now, like we know, ruminant animals are animals with four compartments four compartments what stomach that is they have four stomach compartments we call them ruminant animals an example of these ruminant animals include you have the goats you have cattle you have sheep now these four compartments or this four stomach compartment has its name the first is the what you call the rumen. The second is what you call the reticulum. The third is what you call the omasum. And the fourth is what you call the abomasum. Now these are the stomach compartments of rumen, ruminant animals. The rumen, reticulum, omasum and abomasum. Now the question says we should pick out of this option the one that is not one of these compartments. And if you can see A here says rumen, which is parts. B says reticulum, which is part. C says radical, which is not. So radical is not part. And this is omasum, which is part. So the answer to this question is C, radical. Because radical is not part of the word compartment of ruminant animals. Thank you very much and God bless you. Please ensure to subscribe to our channel for more videos. Hello, good day, and welcome. Today, we're going to be dealing with BHA 2019 Agri Science Past Question, Question 5. The best soil for cultivating most food crop is dash. The best soil for cultivating most food crop is dash A. Loamy soil, B. Clay soil, C. Alluvial soil, and D. Silt soil. Now, we are to pick the option which is the best soil for cultivating food crop. A says loamy soil. Now loamy soil is a type of soil with fine particles. The type of soil with fine particles which consists of humus. It consists of humus. It consists of silt. And this humus is very very what important in terms of loamy soil because it provides what nutrients which is required for plants nutrients required for plants growth and so therefore we say loamy soil is the best for cultivating food crop is the best for agriculture loamy soil is the best soil for agriculture because of the great percentage of humus which it contains and this humus provides nutrients for plants now b here says clay soil clay soil is a soil with the what with the finest particle finest particle and it has the what it has a large water retention capacity that is it has the ability to retain water and this soil has low nutrients it has low nutrients and so it is not the best soil for cultivating most of food crops now see here says alluvial soil now alluvial soil here is a type of soil that's composed of what silt and clay it's made up of silt plus clay and large particles 
large particles of sand and granules large particles of sand and granules and this soil this soil you see that the humus content in this soil is very low it doesn't have humus content and so it is not what suitable for agriculture that is for planting then the silt soil here on the other hand the silt soil is a type of soil that is what that is between that is in terms of size of particles now it is between the clay soil and loam soil that is in terms of size particle and the particle size now it is between the clay soil and the loam soil and this sealed soil is just like sediment it's like sediment and its humus content is low low humus content it has low humus content so now from all this explanation you will see that a loamy soil is the best soil required for what for cultivating most crops it is the most suitable soil for agriculture because of its high humus content thank you very much and god bless you please ensure to subscribe to the channel for more videos Good day and welcome. Today we're going to be dealing with BJ 2019 Agri Science Past Question Question Six. One of the following methods used for maintaining soil fertility is dash A overgrazing, B burning, C mulching, and D deforestation. So we have to pick one of the following method that is one of this option which is used for maintaining soil fertility. And like you know, soil fertility has to be maintained for maximum plant production. That is when soil fertility is maintained, when the nutrients of the soil is kept, that we enable what's maximum plant production. Now, option A here says overgrazing. Overgrazing means when farm animals when farm animals feed on the grasses. When they feed on the grasses excessively, when farm animals feed on the grasses excessively, that's overgrazing. And when this occurs, it exposes the surface of the soil. Overgrazing exposes what the surface of the soil, thereby exposing the soil to harmful factors such as the sunlight and then erosion by water and by wind. So all these decreases the soil fertility because the erosion wash away what the soil fertility the nutrients of the soil and thereby decreases the soil fertility now burning also that is setting burning simply means what setting bushes or plants ablaze that is setting them on fire it will also was expose the surface of the soil and exposing the surface of the soil will lead to what erosion by wind or by water and also what expose the soil to, to um, sunlight and this will wash away soil nutrients thereby decreasing what soil fertility now mulching here mulching is a what is a practice whereby plant materials plant materials a practice whereby plant materials plant materials are kept on the soil plant materials are kept on the soil to decay and when they decay they would it provides nutrients nutrients is being provided to the soil that is it adds nutrients to the soil and mulching is a local practice not even a local practice a practice that is what that is common today not especially in farm cultivation and um, in yam cultivation when you plant yam you notice that the farmers do mulch these heaps to ensure that what nutrient is added to this soil for maximum plant production and this mulching helps to increase the soil fertility then D here says deforestation. Deforestation simply means falling trees. That is the practice of cutting down trees. And like you know, when you cut down trees, the soil surface is being exposed to erosion. It exposes the soil to erosion, so it decreases. It decreases the soil fertility. Now the question says we should pick one of the following methods that can maintain soil fertility. And from all this discussed above you see that mulching 
is actually the method that can be used to maintain soil fertility because it is a practice that helps to add nutrients to the soil while these other uh, methods exposes the soil surface to erosion and thereby leading to a decrease in soil fertility so the answer to this question is option c mulching thank you very much and god bless you please ensure to subscribe to the channel for more videos Hello, good day, and welcome. Today, we're going to be dealing with Beachy 2019 Agri Science Past Question Question 7 Farm Animal Parasite Adash. Farm Animal Parasite Adash A. Organisms that live in the soil, B. Organisms that live on or in the body of animals, C. Organisms that live in the bush, and D. Organisms that feed on crops. So, we have to find the definition of farm animal parasites from the following option. Now, let's just briefly define farm animal parasites now farm animal parasites are organisms these are organisms that live in or on the body of farm animals of farm animals now the reason for them living in on the body of farm animals is for them to obtain food and shelter that's the main reason why farm animal parasites lives on farm animals to obtain food and shelter and by them obtaining food and shelter they cause harm to farm animals they cause harm to farm animals now so there are organisms that live in or on the body of farm animals some of them live on the body of farm animals that is you see them outside that is on the body of farm animals we call these ones we call them the ectoparasites ectoparasites they live on the body of the animal while the those that live inside the body of the animals we call them the endoparasites the endoparasites so therefore farm animal parasites are organisms that lives in or on the body of farm animals and from this option b corresponds to our answer that is organism that live on or in the body of farm animals which is b so b is the right answer thank you very much and god bless you please ensure to subscribe to our channel for more videos Good day and welcome. Today we're going to be dealing with Beche 2019 Agri Science Past Question Question 8. The process of keeping agricultural produce or products for future use is known as DASH. A. Storage. B. Processing. C. Harvesting. And D. Banking. So we have to pick out of this option which describes the process of keeping or which is the process of keeping agricultural produce or products for future use. Now A here says storage. Like we know, storage simply means, in a simple sense, only simply means what? Saving. Saving. Or keeping things, keeping things for future use. That's storage. Now, in terms of agriculture, storage now simply means what? Keeping agricultural produce or product for future use. That is storage. BHS is processing. Processing is just simply means what? The act. Processing is the act or the process of converting. Press of converting agricultural products to different forms. To different forms. That's processing. Example is like your cocoa, you convert cocoa to beverage. Beverage is like your meal, that's processing. Now, CS is harvesting. Harvesting is the act of what? Harvesting is the act or practice of removing farm what? Farm produce. That's harvesting. Removing farm produce from the farm. When they are grown, when they are mature, you act of removing them from the farm is known as harvesting. Then banking here has to do with what? 
it has to do with money. Banking has to do with money. That is business purposes. So the question says the act of the process of keeping agricultural produce and products of which is known as dash. It is A that is the answer storage. Storage simply means saving or keeping what things for future use. Simply the keeping or the process of keeping agricultural produce or products for future use. So the correct answer to this question is A storage. Thank you very much and God bless you. Please ensure you subscribe to our channel for more videos. Good day and welcome. Today we're going to be dealing with BHA 2019 Agri Science Pass Question Question 9. The first stomach compartment of a ruminant animal is called dash. A. Reticulum, B. Omasum, C. Abomasum, and D. Rumen. So, we have to pick the first stomach compartment of the ruminant animal. Now, ruminant animal, these are animals with four stomach compartments. Animals with four stomach compartments. This animal has four stomach compartments. And because of this four stomach compartment, they have the ability of chewing they are called that is they can regurgitate food after it is eaten for proper digestion now these four stomach compartments are in order that is from the first to the fourth now the first stomach compartment is the rumen the rumen the second comma and stomach compartment is the reticulum The third is the omasum, and the fourth is the abomasum. In this particular order, now this rumen is the first stomach compartment where the food goes into after eating the food, followed by the reticulum, then the omasum, and the last is the abomasum. Now the question says the first stomach compartment of ruminant animal is called dash, and you agree with me that the first stomach compartment is the rumen. So, option D is the correct answer that is rumen is the first stomach compartment of a ruminant animal thank you very much and god bless you please ensure to subscribe to our channel for more videos hello good day and welcome today we're going to be dealing with bche 2019 agri science past question question 10 all are forest trees except dash a tectona grandis b cola species c terminalia superba and d caladium bicolor now we are asked to pick out of this option the one that is not this except simply means what that is not a forest tree that is not a forest tree now a here says tectona grandis now tectona grandis the common name for this plant is the tick plant the tick plant and this plant is a hardwood you find this plant in the trop in the tropical forest you find them in the tropical forest is a hardwood so tectonal grandis is also known as a tick plant now b here says the cola spp this is a normal cola nuts plant the plant where cola nuts is gotten from and this plant is also what is also a forest plant you find it what in the forest that's tropical forest now c here says Terminalia superba. Now, Terminalia superba is another name for that's the scientific name for the Afara plants. And like you know, this Afara plant is a hardwood, and you find them in the tropical forest. Afara is a hardwood, and you find it in the in tropical forest. Now, D here says Caladium bicolor. Now, Caladium bicolor is a flowering plant. That is, they are ornamental plants. They are not forest trees. It is not a tree at all. It's a flowering plant, and its common name is called Heart of Jesus. The common name is Heart of Jesus. These are plants that is used to beautify our surrounding. So it is a flowering plant. Now the question says we should all are forest trees except now, like you know, Tectona grandis is a forest tree, Cola spp is a forest tree, and Terminal superba is a forest tree. So therefore, D being an ornamental plant, which is a flowering plant, is not a forest tree, and therefore D is our answer thank you very much and god bless you please ensure to subscribe to our channel for more videos
Good and welcome. Today we're going to be dealing with BCA 2019 Agric Science Past Question Question 11. One of the characteristics of insect pests is that dash A. They damage crops, B. They produce crops, C. They plant crops, and D. They grow crops. So we are actually asked here for the activities or the effect of the activities of the insect pests. And like you know, insect pests are simply organisms. These are organisms that causes damage to plant crops to plant crops that is these organisms or these insects carry out the activities in the farm and these activities are harmful they are harmful to plant crops they destroy these plants various parts of the plants that is starting from the leaves even to the stem and also to the fruits of these plants examples of these insect specs examples include the weevil and the weevil is a common example of insect pests that causes damage to to beans mostly grains it damages beans mm -hmm. another example is the locust this locust actually feeds on the leaf of this plant and causes damages towards to these crop plants so insect pests are organisms that causes damage to plants now one of the characteristics of insect pests is that a the cause what they damage crops which is very very correct they damage crops and B here says they produce crops, no. C says they plant crops, no. And D says they grow crops, no. So the correct answer to this question is A. Insect pests damages crops. Thank you very much and God bless you. Please ensure you subscribe to our channel for more videos. Good day and welcome. Today we're going to be dealing with BJ 2019 Agri Science Past Question Question 12. All are purpose of packaging except A. Easy handling, B. Longer shell life, C. Promotion, and D. Loss of quantity. Now we are asked to pick out of this option which is not the purpose of packaging. But before we pick, what is packaging? Now, packaging, packaging simply refers to the science or art of enclosing the science or art of enclosing or protecting or protecting products in this aspect now agricultural products for distribution protecting products for distribution or for storage or for storage or for sale and for use <coughs> so this is packaging packaging is a science or art of enclosing or protecting agricultural products for either distribution or storage or sale or for use now this packaging has what its purpose like you see its purpose is for distribution for storage if you want to store your agricultural products if you want to sell your agricultural produce or you want to use them now option a here says easy handling yes packaging helps towards helps us to handle agricultural products easily for distribution so a is one of the purpose of packaging b here says for, for longer shell life yes you can see that one of the purpose of packaging is for storage so longer shell life is also one of the purpose of packaging and c here says for promotion yes also one of the importance of packaging is for sale towards to promote your sale to sale so promotion is also part of the what part of the purpose of packaging and DS is loss of quantity which is not a purpose of packaging because packaging helps to do what it helps to enclose and protect this agricultural produce so the answer to this question is D loss of quantity it is not a purpose of packaging D is the correct answer thank you very much and God bless you please ensure to subscribe to our channel for more videos Good day and welcome. Today we're going to be dealing with Bachelor 2019 Agri Science Pass Question Question 13. A written document showing major activities going on in the farming business is known as DASH. A. Receipts. B. Farm record. C. Farming and D. Farm diary. So we are asked to pick an option which is described as a written document showing major activities going on in the farming business. Now A here says receipts. Now receipt is a document. A receipt is a document 
that acknowledges a document that acknowledges that a person has received money or property in payments following sale that is it's just a document that acknowledges it's ascertained that a person has received either money or property in payments following what sale like when you sell something when you buy something you will get what you get received it acknowledges that what this action has been carried out by you so that is a receipt now option b says farm record option b says what farm record now what is farm record farm record here is a document farm record is a document most times it can be a book that is used that is used to keep accounts documents that is used to keep accounts of different activities different activities going on in the farm it's a document that is used to keep what account of different activities going on in the farm that is a farm record now see here says what farming like you know farming just simply what act of practicing what agriculture the act of practicing agriculture is known as farming be it livestock rearing is farming or crop cultivation it's also what farming practicing agriculture that is farming then d here says what farm diary this is farm diary now farm diary is just the word is the day-to-day -day record of everything that goes on in the farm the day-to-day -day records of all farm activities that is everything that goes on in the farm per day that is what farm diary day-to-day -day records of everything that goes on in the farm but the question says a written document showing major activities going on in the farming business now from this that we've described you see that what option b here farm record is the most suitable answer for this because farm record is a document that is used towards to keep account of all activities going on in the farm we would have picked farm diary but farm diary is a day-to-day -day record and the question says what a written document showing major activities going on the farm so therefore our answer to this question is option b farm record it's a document that keeps account of all activities going on in the farm thank you very much and god bless you please ensure to subscribe to our channel for more videos good day and welcome today we're going to be dealing with bj 2019 Agric Science Pass question question 14. All the following are price determinants except dash A. Cost of production B. Government policies C. Forces of demand and supply and D. Risk So we are asked to pick what which of the following that is not a price determinant like you know price determinant here simply means what factors Price determinant simply means factors that influences factors that influences the market value of agricultural products. Agricultural products. That is these factors that determines the cost of agricultural products in the market. Now, A here says cost of production. The cost of production is a price determinant factor is a factor that determines what the price of agricultural products because for a farmer to sell his product he must consider his cost of production that is the cost at which he uses what to produce such what agricultural products take for instance maybe a, ma a maize plantation now the farmer must consider the what the amount spent his capital invested in such what in such maize plantation and that amount will determine what the cost of this product. Now B here says government policies. Government policies also what affect the price of agricultural product. It's a price determinant factor. How? Now 
there are some policies made by the government on some agricultural products. Now, if these policies are actually favorable to the agricultural products, what will happen? The cost of these agricultural products will be reduced. But if these um, government policies actually what do not favor these agricultural products in that particular location, there will be what there will be a high cost of such products. So government policies actually affect the price of agricultural products with so a price determinant. Now see here says force of demand and supply. Yes, force of demand and supply also is also a price determinant because take for instance in a place where there is a high or increase demand of a particular agricultural product a particular agricultural product now this agricultural product will, will be scarce because of the increase de in demand and supply of this um, product it will be scarce and because of its scarcity the what the cost will increase also it leads to increase in cost of this product so force of demand and supply actually affects what the price of agricultural products then d here says risk now risk here is not a price determinant factor risk is not a price determinant factor at all so the answer to this question is option d because all these are actually price determinant factors but option d do not affect the price of agricultural products so d is the correct answer risk thank you very much and god bless you Good day and welcome. Today we're going to be dealing with BJ 2019 Agri Science Pass Question Question 15. The most versatile of all packaging material is dash. A paperboard, B leaves, C leather, and D metal. Now we are asked to pick out of this following packaging material the most versatile. Now what is packaging? First of all, packaging here is simply the first word the science. Packaging is the science or arts of keeping. The art of keeping agricultural products for distribution or storage or for sale or use. Now, for us to keep this agricultural product in a safe condition we have some what, packaging materials that enable us to do this and some of these packaging materials include the metal we have the leather we have the nylon or the polythene bag and also we have the paperboard now the question says which of these packaging material here is the most versatile that is which of these packaging material can be used for different kinds of agricultural products and I want you to know that D, option D here, metal, is the correct answer to this question because metal is the most versatile of all packaging material. Why? Metal can be used to package um, grain crops like your rice, your corn. It can also be used to package meats. It can be used to package fish. It can be used to package various things. Metal is the most versatile of all packaging material, unlike the paperboard, the leaves and the leather. So, the correct answer to this question is option D, metal. Thank you very much and God bless you. Please ensure to subscribe to our channel for more videos. Hello, good day and welcome. Today we're going to be dealing with BJ 2019 Agri Science Pass question, question 16. Stock exchange is important in agriculture because of the following reasons except A. It creates employment opportunities B. It encourages contract farming C. It makes farming more tasking and D. It encourages investment in agriculture Now we are asked to pick an option which is not an importance of stock exchange But before we pick this option, what is stock exchange? Now stock exchange stock exchange is also known as you can also call stock exchange securities exchange 
is also known as securities exchange now what is this stock exchange now stock exchange is a facility is a facility where traders is a facility where traders now in the aspect of agriculture can buy where traders can buy and sell securities such as shares of stock or financial instruments so stock exchange is a facility where traders can buy or farmers can buy and sell securities remember i said that name for stock exchange is what securities exchange now i'm going to explain what the securities mean these securities here simply refers to what shares shares like take for instance now if a farmer has a very very large farm but he alone cannot run this farm what happens he opened this farm for what for people to buy shares now them coming to buy these shares is, is what is stock exchange that is they are buying what and selling securities now the question says which of these is not an importance of what stock exchange in agriculture now this stock exchange is actually important in agriculture because one stock exchange helps to create what employment opportunities which a is talking about so therefore a is an importance of what stock exchange stock exchange provides what employment opportunities for farmers farmers who do not have the capacity to run a large farm can run this farm by what via stock exchange by engaging the activities of other people who have shares in his farm now it creates what employment opportunities b it encourages contract farming yes stock exchange also encourages contract farming how now when people comes together to share securities among themselves their farming is secured and thereby what they can be a legal what a legal document backing their farming maybe they want to farm for two years or three years and then what they, they will go into contract farming, farming signing a contract pertaining the profits and the loss of this what of this agricultural practice so it encourages what contract farming c says it makes farming more tasking no stock exchange do not make farming more tasking instead it makes farming more easy it makes farming easier then d says it encourages investment in agriculture yes stock exchange encourages investment in agriculture because it allows people who even do not want to um, practice agriculture to have what securities to have shares in farming in agriculture so it encourages what investment now the question says which all these are what are important except so now we have to pick the option which is not an importance of stock exchange and from this you see that what option c here is not an importance of stock exchange so therefore it will be the right answer to this question because it says it makes farming more tasking which is wrong so option c is not an importance of stock exchange in agriculture thank you very much and god bless you please ensure subscribe to our channel for more videos Hello, good day, and welcome. Today, we're going to be dealing with Benche 2019 Agri Science Pass question, question 17. The question says, All are forest products except all are forest products except A. Timber, B. Wood, food, C. Medicine, and D. Handsets. A. Timber, B. Food, C. Medicine, and D. Handsets. So, we are asked to pick which of this option that is not a forest product now before we pick what is a forest first of all now a forest is a piece of land with many trees forest simply means a piece of land a piece of land with many trees so that means we have to pick an option which cannot be gotten from a forest which is not a forest product now, A here says was timber, and that means for timber is wood. And like you know, the definition of a forest is a piece of land with many trees, meaning that timber can be gotten from what? From forest trees. So, timber is a forest product. Now, B says what? Food. B says food. Yes, you can get food from what? From forest. You can get food from forest. Some of these trees in the forest actually was provides food for man. Like, take for instance, your cola. Tree, your cola tree is what can and provides cola, which is also a food. 
So, food is a forest product. She says medicine. Medicine also is a forest product. The barks, the barks of these trees are what are medicinal. The barks and even the leaves of some forest trees are medicinal. That is, they have medicinal words, values. They are used to produce drugs. So, medicine is a forest product. Now, D yes, is handset. And like you know, online for handset is the word is the mobile phone. Handset, allowing for handset is the mobile phone, and this handset cannot be gotten from what from forest, it's not the forest products. So, the answer to this question is option D because it is not a forest product. Handset, thank you very much, and God bless you. Please enter subscribe to our channel for more videos. Hello, good day, and welcome. Today, we're going to be dealing with PHA 2019 Agri Science Pass Question, Question 18. Which of the following is stored dry? A. Fruits, B. Beds, C. Insects, and D. Animals. Now, like we know, drying is one of the process or method of storage. Drying is one of the process or method of, of storing agricultural products. Other methods like freezing, we have other methods like freezing. We have other methods also, several methods also, but today we are considering what's drying. And now the question says, the following is stored dry. Which of the following is stored dry? A says fruits, B says baits, C says insects, and D says animals. Now this is a very, very technical question, which we need to, we need to analyze properly for us to pick the right answer. Why I'm saying this is because now let's begin with this D animals. If you look at animals, the meat gotten from animals can actually be stored by drying. But now the question do not say what meat. The question did not say meat. Instead, the question says what? It says animal. So therefore, we cannot go for this question. We can't go for this option. C also says insects. Insects automatically is wrong. Then B says birds. Also, meats obtained from beds can also be stored by drying. But now the question, the, the option did not say meat. The option says what? Beds. And for us to be critical in our analysis, we can't go for beds because it was it is too what ambiguous. We can't go for beds. But A here says what? Fruits. Now fruits generally can be stored what? Dried. Fruits can be stored dried. And like we know, we know that fruits are products of what? Of crop plants. Like your maize. Maize is a fruit. Your mango is a fruit. The cashew is a fruit. Your vegetables are fruits. And all this can be stored dry. So now the most suitable option or suitable answer to this question is option A. Fruits. Fruits is stored dry. So whenever you have to face with this kind of question, you have to what, analyze each of the options for you to pick what the most correct answer. And in this aspect, the most correct answer here is option A, which is fruit. Remember, I said B and D would have been correct if we're given meat. Because meat is a product of birds and animals. But we're not given meat. So option B is wrong and option D too is also wrong. Likewise, option C is wrong. So the correct answer is A, fruit. Thank you very much and God bless you. Please ensure you subscribe to our channel for more videos. Good day and welcome. Today we're going to be dealing with Beche 2019 Agri Science Pass Question, Question 19. Most bacterial diseases are transmitted through dash A, A, B, B, C, insects and D, animals. Now we are asked to pick or select an option which is the most way by which bacterial diseases are transmitted. Now I'd like you to know that bacteria bacteria is a pathogen. That is bacteria is a disease causing organism. A pathogen. Pathogens are disease causing disease causing organism. Now this bacteria causes what various diseases and these bacteria diseases are transmitted via various ways either air they are either transmitted by air or by birds by insects or by animals 
Now we are asked to find the most way by which all these bacterial diseases are transmitted. Now bacterial diseases are transmitted mostly by air. An example of bacterial diseases that are transmitted mostly by air is the tuberculosis. Tuberculosis is a bacterial disease transmitted by air. That is an airborne disease. When a, if an infected patient sneezes or cough, this disease is what is transmitted to another person. Now birds, insects and animals all together are known as vectors of diseases, disease vectors. Why? Because they are organisms, they are disease carrying organisms. We call them disease carrying organisms. They carry what diseases, but they are not the disease causing organisms. Disease causing organisms are the pathogens. Why vectors are the disease carrying organisms? And these birds, insects and animals are disease carrying organisms. Although they transmit diseases, yes, but they are not the most common way why which diseases are being transmitted, bacterial diseases are transmitted. So air is the right answer to this question because most bacterial diseases are airborne diseases. Thank you very much and God bless you. Please ensure subscribe to our channel for more videos. Hello, good day and welcome. Today we're going to be dealing with Beche 2019 Agri Science Pass Question, Question 20. All the following are the factors affecting the forest except <laughs> A. Deforestation B. Bush burning C. Hunting and D. Afforestation It says all the following are the factors affecting the forest except Now, what is a forest? A forest is a piece of land Forest is a piece of land where trees are found. Piece of land where trees are found. Now the question says all the following are the factors affecting the forest except that is we have to pick an option here that will not affect the forest. A here says deforestation and deforestation simply means what? The falling or cutting down of trees falling trees now when trees are being felled in the f in a forest what happens it exposes what this forest that is the soil to harmful harmful factors like sunlight and erosion and this will this depletes the soil nutrients so deforestation affects the forest now b says bush burning Bush burning simply means what? Setting the bushes on fire. And by so doing, you are also exposing the, what? the soil surface to harmful factors like the wind, sunlight, and erosion. So it also affects what? the forest. Now, C says hunting. Now, hunting here just simply means what? Killing of animals. Hunting simply means killing of animals, either be it bush animals or wild animals. That's hunting. Now, hunting will not affect the forest because hunting will only affect what? Wildlife. Hunting will only affect wildlife or animals' existence, but it will not affect the forest. Now, this is afforestation. Afforestation here simply means what? The act of planting trees. It is the act of planting trees trees and when trees are being planted in a forest what happens it improves the quality of the forest so afforestation helps to improve the quality of the forest you see that option a deforestation affects the forest negatively b also affects the forest negatively but option d here affects the forest which is afforestation positively by what by improving and inc in the standard of the forest remember forest is a piece of land where trees are found but see here hunting will affect wild animals not forest and so therefore c is the correct answer to this question hunting thank you very much and god bless you please ensure subscribe to our channel for more videos hello good day and welcome today we're going to be dealing with bj 2019 agri science past question question 21 all are factors of production except dash a land 
B labor C market and D capital so we are asked to pick which is that is not a factor of production now what are factors of production factors of production simply refers to what resources they refer to resources that are the building blocks and I believe understand what building blocks means it means that the foundation these are resources which serve as the foundation or as the building block of an economy that is any economy at all be it farming or any business or business activities and like we know agriculture is also a business activity so factors of production are resources that are the building block of this what agricultural what business or activity now these factors of production we have four main factors of production number one is the land land number two is the labor labor number three is capital in essence that's money and then number four is entrepreneurship entrepreneurship so these are the four main words factors of production now the question says we should pick what that all are factors of production except that is one of these options is not a factor of production a here says land and like you can see land is a factor of production b here says labor yes labor is a factor of production c says market no market is not a factor of production and this is capital that is the money capital is factor of production now all this you see that land must be available for what for agricultural what progress likewise the labor both mechanized and unmechanized labor has to be what has to be readily available and also the capital that is the money to start up this agricultural business must also be available so you see that all these are what essential factors of production but here market is not what a factor of production so c is the correct answer to this question market c is the answer thank you very much and god bless you please ensure to subscribe to our channel for more videos Good day and welcome. Today we're going to be dealing with Beche 2019 Agri Science Past Question Question 22. Which of the following is not a method of applying fertilizer? A. Broadcast. B. Ring method. C. Side placement. And D. Flash method. So we are asked to pick an option which is not a method of fertilizer application. Now let's just remind ourselves what fertilizer actually are. Now fertilizers, fertilizer are agrochemicals, agrochemicals, fertilizers are agrochemicals that are used to enhance maximum plant production maximum plant production so fertilizers simply refers to agrochemicals that are used to enhance what plant production plant production now a here says broadcast method now broadcast method is a method of fertilizer application now in this method the fertilizer is applied by what by by spreading it by spreading this broadcast method simply means what spreading of the fertilizer spreading of the fertilizer that's what this broadcast method means from the word broadcast you spread it around you can use your hand or you can use machines now b here says b here says ring method ring method now ring method is a method of fertilizer application in which the fertilizer is placed in what in a ring form that is in a circular form around the plants let's say for instance you have a plant here now let's say this is a plant now the fertilizer is placed what around the plant in a ring a method that is in a circular form so this is a ring method and it's also a form of what fertilizer application then see here says side placement now, site placement is also a method of applying fertilizer. 
in the sense that the fertilizer is placed what close to the plant that is one side of the plant let's say for instance you have a plant like this now you place the fertilizer close to the plant at the side of the plant that's side placement so side placement is also a method of applying fertilizer now d here says flash method now flash method is not a method of fertilizer application in agriculture so d here is the answer to our question because the question says which of the following is not a method of fertilization of applying fertilizer and we have broadcast method which is spreading of fertilizer we have the ring method like i told you this is the ring method and then the side placement this is the side placement but flash method here is not applicable in agriculture so the answer to this question is option d flash method thank you very much and god bless you please ensure to subscribe to our channel for more videos Hello, good day and welcome. Today we're going to be dealing with BJ 2019 Agri Science Fast Question, Question 23. The method of propagation by which plant parts is made to develop roots whilst they attach to the parent plant is dash A. Stocking, B. Layering, C. Boarding, and D. Grafting. Now we are asked to locate or to pick which um, actually represents the method of propagation by which plants is being what propagated through its parts making the parts to develop what's roots whilst they attach to the parent plant now this um, plant propagation is just a simple is simply a method a method of producing is a method of producing new plants species or to ensure what continuous growth of plants that is to prevent what to prevent extinction continuous growth of such species now we have various words methods of propagation that is various methods by which these plants can be propagated plants can be propagated sexually and asexually but the method we are discussing here now is what the asexual method of propagation a special method of propagation that is it does not require the transfer of um, um this in sex cells so now we are giving a stocking now stocking here is not a method of propagation at all stocking is not a method of propagation in agriculture then b here says what layering now layering is simply a method of propagation in which what the branches of a plant the branches of a plant is placed on the soil the branches of the plant is placed on the soil in order for it to do what to develop roots and we call these roots what the adventitious roots we call the roots the adventitious roots and if you notice this layering is actually done while this branch is still attached to its parent plants. Now let me give a brief diagrammatic illustration of layering. Let's say for instance you have a parent plant like this. This is a parent plant and this is a branch of the plant. And let's say for instance this is the soil. You will see now that this branch of the plant has been what's made to make contact with the soil here. And as a result of this contact with the soil, this branch will become towards which will begin to develop roots here like this. And we call this what the adventitious roots. So that's layering. Then C here says what C here says budding. Now budding is also a what is also a method of plant propagation whereby different parts of a plant but in budding a part of one plant a part of one plant is caught and attached to another plant. And this is how body look like this diagrammatic expression of a body look at it here let's say you have a plant here this is plant a and you have another plant you call this plant plant b now a part here of plant b will be cut we call this a bud now when this part is cut it will be fixed what to another plant which has already what been made which its position has been made available in this plant a now this part here that is cut away from this plant b will now be attached to this plant A here 
to be attached here and tied together with either rope or anything that will make it stay together and then allow to grow now when this group begins to grow what happens a new species of plant is formed a species that has the traits of plant b and plant a will be formed so that's body now grafting here is also like budding in which a different part of a plant is cut and then attached to another plant but in terms of grafting you won't get a bud like in budding grafting is simply like this let's say you have a plant a and a plant b now in grafting this plant a will be cut like this into two we call this upper part the sion and also plant b like this will be cut into two now this part here this sion that is cut from plant a now will now get to be attached to the what to the plant b it will be attached to plant b and now this plant b and plants A now part that is attached together will now grow to give what to give a new species. So this is grafting. But the question says what method of propagation by which plant part is made to develop roots while still attached to the parent plant. And like we discussed earlier on, layering is the method of propagation in which what the branches of the plant still attached to the parent plant to be made to what make contact with the soil. And as a result of this contact made to the soil, it develops what a root adventitious roots so the answer to this question is actually b layering thank you very much and god bless you please ensure to subscribe to our channel for more videos Hello, good day and welcome. Today we're going to be dealing with BHA 2019 Agric Science Pass question, question 24. Which of the following is primary tillage equipment? A. Dix harrow, B. Rollers, C. Dix plow, and D. Pulverizers. Now, before we pick which is a prim the one that is a primary tillage equipment, we have to understand what primary tillage equipment are. Now, these primary tillage equipment, these are equipment they are equipment or machines yeah you can call them machines or equipment that are used to break they are used to break deeply and losing they are used to break deeply and losing the soil the soil to prepare the soil to prepare it for a suitable seed bed. Now these are what these are primary tillage equipment. They are equipments or machines that are used to break deeply and loosen the soil to prepare it what as a suitable seed bed. Now seed bed is just like soil that is prepared for planting what seeds. That can that will later be what transplant transplanted to their main what their main site for growth. So these are primary tillage equipment. Now these primary tillage equipments include what the plows, the plows. These plows are basic what they are the basic primary tillage equipment. Plows are basic primary tillage equipment. They used to what break open the soil, losing the soil for what for time for um, seed bed purposes. For seed bed purposes. Now, the question says which of the following is a primary tillage equipment? We have A here. A here says what? Dix harrow. A says Dix harrow. Now, I want you to understand that a Dix harrow is also what? An agricultural machine. But then, Dix this harrow do not what? It is not used. A Dix harrow is not used to what? To prepare the soil, it is not used to prepare the soil for for seed bed purposes. It is not used to prepare the soil for seed bed purposes. It is actually used to what to chop out on one third crops. A dix harrow is used to chop out on one third crops. Now B here says what rollers. B says rollers. Now these rollers are machines that are used to what to flatten what soils. They are used to flatten the soils. They are machines. We use these rollers to flatten soils. So these ones are used to what? To flatten 
the soil. Maybe after tillage or after harrowing and then maybe the soil is not leveled. You use what rollers to flatten the soil. Now see here says what dix plow. Yes, like I told you, I say plows are what they are the primary tillage equipment. This dix plow is a what is a type of plow that is used to what to break open the soil, to break the soil or to loosen it and prepare it for what as a seed bed. As a seed bed. Then now pulverizers. Pulverizers on the other hand are what are tools that are used to shatter compacted ground and break what chunk um, soil. Let's say you have soil that are chunked or that are compacted. You have compacted soils. Now these pulverizers are used to what to break these compacted soils. So pulverizers are used to what they break this compacted soil. That is their uses. But the question says what the following, which of the following is a primary tillage equipment? And like I told you, I said the plows are the primary tillage equipment. And a type of plow here is a dix plow, which is used to break open the soil, make it loosen, and prepare it as a what as a seed bed for planting seeds. So C is a primary tillage equipment, dix plow. Thank you very much and God bless you. Please ensure to subscribe to the channel for more videos. Good day and welcome. Today we're going to be dealing with Beche 2019 Agri Science Past Question Question 25. Which of these can be stored for a long period? A. Pineapple B. Grains C. Vegetable and D. Purple Now we are asked to pick an option which of these um, following agricultural products that can be stored for a long period. Now we have to understand that agricultural products can actually both some can be stored for a longer period and some can just be stored for a short period that is some days and those that can only be stored for days are referred to as what perishable the perishable what products why those can be that can be stored for a long period are what non-perishable what the non-perishable agricultural products now these perishable agricultural products they do what they cannot be stored they cannot be stored for a long time. They can't be stored for a long time. They spoil over time. And this perishable product includes what? Includes the fruits. Most fruits cannot be stored for a very long time. Fruits like what? The mangoes. All these are perishable fruits. The cashew. The pineapple. The pineapple. These are perishable fruits. Also, vegetables. Vegetables also cannot be stored for a long period of time. But the non-perishable goods, these goods can be what stored for a longer period. It doesn't mean they can be stored for a what for a lifetime. But actually, most of them can be stored for a lifetime, and most can be stored for a very long period. Now, example of these non-perishable goods include the grains. The grains are a typical example of non-perishable products. Example are the rice. You have the rice. The rice is there. You have the millet. The millet is there. Now all these um, these grains, when you put them in silo, a silo is a storage medium whereby you put grains for what for storage that is for future use. Now when these um, grains are put in silos or a silo, they can stay there for years. But pineapple, vegetable, and purple, these three, will not what will not stay for long these three are perishable products these three are what they are perishable that is they cannot last for a what for a long period of time but greens here which is option b example the rice the millet can actually stay what for a longer period of time so the answer to this question which of these can be stored for a long period is greens so option b is our answer thank you very much and god bless you please ensure to subscribe to our channel for more videos Good day and welcome. Today we're going to be dealing with BJ 2019 Agri Science Past Question Question 26. Crops that complete their life cycle in a growing season are called dash A. Annual crops, 
B. Biennial crops, C. Perennial crops, and D. Ephemeral crops. Now we are asked to find what to choose the option which basically describes the crops that complete the life cycle in a growing season. And a growing season simply refers to what? A year. A year is what is a growing season. Now, this actually is just basically like a classification of crops based on their lifespan. This type of this life cycle, it just was a classification. A classification of crops. A classification of crops based on life span. And based on this classification, the crops can be classified into what? The annual crops. We have the annual crops, we have the perennial crops, the peripheral, the perennial crops, and then the ephemeral crops. Ephemeral crops. Now we describe them one after the other. Now A here says was annual crops. Annual crops. These are just simply crops that what that complete their life cycle within one year. They complete their life cycle within one year that's for annual crops meaning that these crops they germinate, they grow to maturity produce flowers seeds and then die within a year so their life cycle is just was within a year and that's why we call them the annual crops now b here says what's banner crops now banner crops complete what their life cycle in two years complete life cycle in two years that is, it takes two years for them to germinate, grow, produce flowers, seed, and then die. Now, C here, option C here says what's perennial crops. Now, perennial crops are crops that takes more than what two years. That is, their life cycle takes more than more than two years, more than two years. Then the ephemeral crops, these are crops that what complete several life cycles. They complete several life cycles in a year. They complete several life cycles in a year. They complete several life cycles in a year. Now example of annual crops. An example of annual crop include the rice, rice, millets. Example of banana crops, you have the carrots. An example of perina crops, you have your mango. And the example of ephemeral crop, you have the tomato. Tomato. Now the question says crops that complete their life cycle in a growing season, that is in a year. And like I've discussed earlier on, I told you that annual crops, from the word annual, they complete their life cycle, that is they grow to maturity, they produce seeds, flowers, fruits and then die in a year so the answer to this question is actually a annual crops thank you very much and god bless you please ensure to subscribe to our channel for more videos good day and welcome today we're going to be dealing with bj 2019 agri science past question question 27 all are forest types except dash a the mangrove b derived forest c rainforest and d dark forest now all these are forest type except now before we pick which is not a forest let's briefly understand what a forest simply means now a forest is a place a forest is a place of land a piece of land with many trees a piece of land with many trees now forests are very important and they grow in many places around the world yes they are an ecosystem which includes many plants and animals but we are asked to find what which that is not a type of forest now we have various type of forest we have the various type of forest we have the tropical forest the tropical forest we have the temperate forest the temperate that's this tropical forest you find this tropical forest in hot region like africa you find the temperate forest in what in cooler region 
in Kula region, like the Antarctica, the America, we find this temperate forest. We also have the mangrove forest. We have the mangrove forest also. The mangrove forest. And then we also have the rainforest. Yeah, the tropical. This tropical forest is also known as tropical rainforest. You can also call it the tropical rainforest. You can also call it tropical rainforest. And then we also have what we call the derived forest. From the word derived, it means what? This forest do not occur naturally. They are formed by what? By man. And like I told you, I say forest is a, what? a piece of land with many trees. A piece of land with many trees. So actually, a forest can be formed. So these are the brief what, types of forest. We have, we have others also. But now, the options given to us. A here says mangrove forest, yes. Mangrove forest is a type of forest. B here says derived forest, yes. Derived forest is a type of forest. C says rainforest, like I told you, tropical rainforest is a type of forest. And D here says dark forest, no. There is no forest known as dark forest. Now, therefore, option D will be our answer. Dark forest, because dark forest is not a type of forest. So option D is our answer to this question. Thank you very much and God bless you. Please ensure to subscribe to our channel for more videos. Good day and welcome. Today we're going to be dealing with Bachelor 2019 Agri Science Past Question, Question 28. Effects of forest on environments include all except dash A. Conservation of soil moisture, B. Control of water runoff, C. Killing of animals, and D. Protect the soil against evaporation. So basically, we are asked to pick an option which is not the effect of forest on the environment. Now, a forest is so simply refers to a piece of land forest is a piece of land with many trees is a piece of land with many trees and we have forests all around the world we have forests all around the world so it's a piece of land with many trees now this forest has what certain effects on the environment it has certain effects on the environment now it has this conservation of soil moisture conservation of soil moisture now, I want you to understand that forest actually helps to conserve soil moisture. Remember, I said forests are is a um, piece of land with many trees. Now, these trees there, most of these trees help to form what? Canopy. Most of these trees, they help to form what? Canopy. That is, the, tree, the leaves of these trees form canopy that helps to what? To conserve the soil moisture and prevent the soil from getting dry, thereby maintaining the soil's what? The soil's fertility. So it helps to conserve our soil moisture. Now B here says control of water runoff. Yes. Forest helps to control water runoff. Now this water runoff here can also be referred to as what? Water erosion. Water erosion. Water erosion. Now forest helps to what? Control water erosion. That is it helps to prevent it checkmates what the wearing away of the surface of the soil by water because these trees they have to stand as a barrier preventing what water erosion so forest controls water runoff then c yes is killing of animals now i want you to understand that a forest is the home forest is a home of plants and animals forest is the home of plants and animals so therefore forest helps to house animals it does not kill animals you find most of these wild animals in the forest they house what animals so forest do not kill animals so killing of animals is wrong now dhs says protects the soil against evaporation forest helps to protect the soil against evaporation like i told you initially conservation of soil moisture the presence of these leaves the canopy the, these leaves of the um, trees forms canopy and this canopy what helps to block the rays of sunlight thereby reducing what evaporation of the soil moisture that is the water contents of the soil and thereby preserving the soil fertility now the question says effects of forest on environment include all except now all these here option a option b and option d are the effects of forest on the environment but now the forest do not what kill animals so therefore we go for option C as a right answer because it is not an effect of forest on the environment. So therefore C is the correct answer, killing of animals. Forests do not kill animals. Instead, forest houses animals, most especially the wild animals.
Thank you very much and God bless you. Please ensure to subscribe to our channel for more videos. Hello, good day, and welcome to the beginning to be dealing with Beche 2019 Agri Science Pass Question Question 29. All are disease causing organisms except dash A fungi, B bacteria, C virus, and D ants. So, let's pick an option which is not classified as one of the disease causing organisms. Now, I want you to understand that disease causing organism has a general term for them, they are called pathogens. We call them pathogens. So, pathogens are the disease causing organisms that is this disease causes organism and um, the these organisms causes diseases to both plants and animals to both plants and animals and examples they include the virus that causes viral diseases we have the bacteria that causes bacterial diseases we have the fungi that causes what fungal diseases we have the nematodes these ones are worms also that causes diseases in both plants and animals. So these are the basic words, pathogens, disease causing organisms. Now the question says all are disease causing organisms except that is we have to pick an option which is not among the disease causing organisms that is can that is not classified as a pathogen. And from our options here, option D, ants is not part of these options. Like you see, fungi is here, bacteria is here, and virus is here. So option D it's not a disease causing organism meaning option d is not a pathogen thank you very much and god bless you please ensure to subscribe to the channel for more videos hello good day and welcome to the beginning of dealing with beta 2019 agri science past question question 30 the operation carried out after planting of crops is termed DASH A. Pre-planting operation B. Post-planting operation C. Planting and D. Before planting So we are asked to find the term which is described as the operation carried out after planting of crops Now like we know in agriculture, a part of agriculture is crop cultivation that is planting of crops Now there are various operations that are being done on the farm even before and after this was this process that is the planting process now the activities that are carried out on the farm before the planting is known as the pre-planting operation pre-planting operation these are activities they are activities carried out before planting is done for planting is done and these activities include what you have the clearing of your land the clearing you have tillage tilling the land tillage and so on then after this pre-planting operations we now go for what we now go for planting that is now we've prepared the what soil down with that is the soil is now what prepared for planting of the crops then after planting now the next operation is what we call the post planting operation we call it the post planting operation because it is done after planting now this post planting operation simply refers to what all activities all activities that is done afterwards after planting activities carried out after planting is known as the post planting operation and this include the weeding the weeding, most especially the weeding, yes, is a post planting operation. Now, the question says the operation carried out after planting. Remember, I see this word, this is the key word after planting of crops is term dash. And like I said, I say post planting operations are operation carried out after planting, and that is option B. So, therefore, post planting operations are the activities or operation carried out after planting of crops. So B is the correct answer. Thank you very much and God bless you. Please ensure to subscribe to the channel for more videos.